Oh, man. Donovan, can I get my backup drink? Showing me up now. No, I did. I, okay, I'm not showing you up. I'm just like thinking we're at a bar. We're at the Gold Spike, which is one of the coolest places downtown. So who comes here to drink on the weekends? Anybody? Let's do it. Right. Okay, little known fact, I live here. So this is my living room. It's a pleasure to have you all in the living room. Um, and I'm joined by Glenn Scott, which is amazing. So you are an executive creative director at Brain Trust. I am. And you have many other titles in the uh, FFA. Give me a thing again. Hey, yeah. American yeah, yeah. Advertising Federation here, local, right. local chapter here. Yep. Okay, so first off, uh, have you been drinking all night? Uh, I'm a couple whiskeys in, so so far so good. Uh, yeah. Are you familiar with the event that we're having here? Like, do you know about grills and guitars? Do you know why all these people are standing oh, around? Oh, absolutely. And why they're no, in the I, I, uh, absolutely. There we go. Oh, oh, we don't do cups. No, you gotta go straight out of the pitcher. There, there. You, do. there you do it. You, you, you give me a countdown. Give me the old frat song or something. Three, two. One. Oh man, I gave you a little extra. <laughs> I like it. I like that's, it. That's. That's. I'm not as drunk as it looks. It, that, that was. That was playing it up for the camera. Yeah. No, no I, I got you. Much. No, this is awesome. I mean, being out in, you know, life is okay. beautiful. Girls and guitars. I mean, we've got the founder of Life is Beautiful back here. We got Tony Shea. We got. Oh uh, yeah, Brayhounds. You, you yeah, got Hubert Keller walking around, and I'm the asshole with the mic. So no, you're sure. talking to these people, not me. Okay. Well, anyways, we got a lot of entrepreneurs. Downtown Las Vegas has a lot of these small entrepreneurs. Absolutely. You are an amazing creative director. Talk to them about the things they can learn from the experiences you've been through. How can they succeed in their businesses? Uh, are you, you going to eat that while I... Oh, you want half? Time? Oh, no, you want half? I'll, I'll, we can Lady yeah. in the Trampet? You, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to Lady in the Trampet. You, you talk. All right. Um, I'll feed it. No, I mean, so Las Vegas is a small community. And, and so no matter what... Oh, or, thank you. And, and no matter what industry you're in, I think as long as you're able to you know, put yourself out there in that industry, you're going to be able to make some connections that are going to be meaningful. Um, I think one of the, the reasons that I, I, I've been able to have some success is is that I'm just constantly trying to nurture those relationships, whether that's with you know with the downtown podcast, whether that's with uh, the American Advertising Federation, with that's nonprofits. Um, there's always going to be an opportunity to to make those connections, and and people that you might talk to now, they might be clients later, they might be employees later, uh, they might be employers later, um, and you know it, it's it's just all about the people you meet. Okay. So talk to me about what you're doing at the AAF. Like, why are you concerned about bringing this? everybody. Yeah, so a, a big passion of mine is just elevating the, the advertising industry here in Las Vegas. We have some really good agencies, some really good creative that comes out of this town. Um, a lot of people are, are just only familiar with what happens here stays here, um, which is great. And that really has, has helped uh, kind of raise some national awareness for what we do here in Las Vegas. And, and I was fortunate to work on that for a little while, but there's so much, so many other businesses and so many other agencies here in town doing good work. Um, it's just one more one more industry that Las Vegas can be known for. So with the American Advertising Federation, we're just trying to help make those connections with the different people at the different agencies instead of just being siloed amongst their own their own companies. Uh, and, and so we have events uh, all the time. I had one last night uh, over at Container Park. Uh, we have got one next week at uh, at Art Square Theater. We're having a we have a cocktail lecture series called Speak and Speak Easy. Um, we're featuring di digital media trends, so we've got uh, the digital publisher from Greenspun Media Group. We've got uh, a rep from Pandora that will be there. We've got um, oh, very cool. yeah, we've got uh, the corporate media director from R and R Partners, all talking about upcoming digital media trends, how to avoid pitfalls since sure. everything's kind of new. Yeah, how we to can tell them all about that. We've got yeah. plenty of pitfalls to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. In learning from people that are able to uh, day to day basis are trying to make sure that they're doing the right thing for their businesses is important. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, that's really awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, Art Square okay. Theater next Thursday. Okay. Um, so you've come to the Gold Spike before. Absolutely. This, this is not your first time. This is not my first this is, time. This is not your first rodeo. Not my first rodeo, not my first whiskey <laughs> here. That's for sure. Okay, so you... Oh, uh, okay, that wasn't a question until just a minute ago, but you put you put your love of whiskey on your LinkedIn profile. I do. I love whiskey. Um, if there's something... Anybody a whiskey fan? There you that's, go. That's the cowgirls. It's a, it's, <laughs> as cowboys, we recognize them. Absolutely. Yeah. I, it's a thing that we do. I mean, if you're passionate about something, whether that's whiskey or food or whatever, put it, I mean, why, why would I hold that back from even my business profile? You know, I think it's important. So, oh, you, you feeling okay? Yeah, sorry for the burp. That was just, <laughs> I drank from the pitcher. It was yeah, yeah, there, I know. Sorry. I'm just a little jealous. Okay, um, so what's the, so you're a passionate guy. What's the most thing, what's something you're the most passionate about? 
or what are you most passionate about? Like, how do you want to change the world? What's your legacy that you want to live? Yeah, no, I mean, for me, it's all about Las Vegas. Uh, I'm not originally from here. I'm from Chicago, just like a lot of people are not from here. But, um, but who lives in Las Vegas? Woo! Yeah. That's, that was an easy, that's like, an easy term up. Well, like Vegas real, real though. He's yeah, been here a long time. Real, yeah. real live people from Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, no, it's, uh, you know, I think it's all looking about what we have here to offer, like, I mean, just from the advertising industry, there are great, there's great agencies and there's great work coming out of here, and, and if we can make ourselves known as a community, it elevates the conversation about what Las Vegas is known for outside of just tourism. I mean, tourism's right, great, true. it's the lifeblood, um, but there's so much more that we can offer and build off of. So, right. lots of communities, let's help elevate all of them. Yeah, so can you talk about any stories where in the past having a relationship, especially outside of work, actually benefited you getting to the place where you are right now? Yeah, there's, uh, well, there's so many. Um, you know, part, part of my role is to help bring in new business for our, our agency, and there's so many times when I'll meet somebody at, a, at an event like this, or at a, at a party, or at a nonprofit event, or, or you'll be participating with them, volunteering, that all of a sudden they become clients, or they become employees. There's a, uh, a great story that I have is um, we have an event, a monthly event for the American Advertising Federation called Brand Beers, and it kind of moves around the valley. We had it at Downtown Container Park last uh, last night. Evelyn was there. Yeah, hey, that's fun. good. Um, Evelyn in the house. Yeah. And we and we just started that about three years ago. And one of the first events, I, I met this girl that was working at another agency. And about three or four months later, because of that connection, she ended up becoming an employee of mine. Um, and I never would have met her, never would have known her outside of outside of being at one of those events and just trying to go around and, and meet all of the different people, whether they're people that are you know peers on some level or people that look you know that they just came straight out of school. There's anybody's going to have have something to offer. Right. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyways, if anybody wants to get in contact with you, leave them with you, have your Twitter account, are you reaching out to people, you seem like a community guy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Twitter, at The Glendon, I'm sure you're probably going to put that up somewhere like right around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, screen, yeah. Right? Poor editor, poor Jonathan. Yeah, He's right like, here, oh, put it right here. <laughs> but he will. Twitter he, handle, he that's probably do, the easiest way to reach me. He can yeah. do anything, whether yeah. he wants to or not. Isn't or, it? you know, I'm downtown all the time, with, uh, whether it's uh, El Cortez or Ma Museum or Smith Center, those are clients of ours, and we, so we're down here, we're trying to, uh, yeah. trying to wear his ways. You do work with a lot of the big brands down We do, yeah. Um, it's very yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right. You guys think you learned a lot from Glenn? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. you coming out. It was good. Here's your half of the uh, hot dog, too. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. Don't lose it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> There's more out there. Everybody grab Thanks. some. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.